All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Chicago Bears in tonight's video. They were three and two after a 36 to 10 victory against the Carolina Panthers at home this past weekend. And yo, folks, I don't care how they've won. I don't care who they've played to win. All I know is the Chicago Bears are three and two. And if you want to use that take, I mean, they dominated the Carolina Panthers. So if you're a good team or the Chicago Bears, you think you're a good team, right? and you're playing an inferior team or a worse team, you should dominate them, right? Well, okay, well, so that's exactly what the Bears did here. And the point more so for me personally is Caleb Williams on a week-to-week -week basis is just improving. He really is, and I think more so in the last three games as opposed you know, to his rookie NFL debut in week two. Um, the last two games against the Rams in Carolina, they've been really good. He's looked really good. That's why they've won two in a row. 304 passing yards, 126.2 pass rating, 29 attempts, 20 completions. Most importantly, no turnovers, no interceptions. He's doing a great job. So before we get any further into tonight's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily Bears content. We try and get this video to 100 likes, folks. That would mean the absolute world to me. So, you know, I get it, man. It's a really banged up Panthers team. Like Panthers defense, clowny, you saw it. They're banged up in general. But once again, I don't really care who they're playing or how they're winning football games. All I care is that they're winning. And that's exactly what Caleb Williams and this Bears team has done the last two weeks. And as you're kind of seeing with like a team, I, I, I'll use the Denver Broncos as a good example. You have really good defenses. I think the, the Bears defense is a little bit more matured, a little bit more older than that Broncos defense. It's just kind of crazy to say because the Bears defense is very young as well. But my point just is, if you have an unarguable top 10 defense in the NFL, and I think the Bears towards the end of the season will officially be ranked top five. Me personally, I think they're a lot closer to five than they are 10. And so you have a defense that no matter who you play, the Houston Texans, the Tennessee Titans, the Carolina Panthers, Los Angeles Rams, it doesn't matter. They're going to keep you in the football game. They're not going to give up 30. They're not giving up 40. It's no shootouts, maybe a couple in a season, but you get the point here. Um, you're going to be in every football game. And like you're kind of seeing with the Denver Broncos right now where Bo Nix literally had minus seven passing yards one week ago against the New York Jets, and they still won it. Your quarterback play really only has to be just solid. And Caleb Williams this past weekend was better than solid. But the point just is, it, it doesn't matter who they're playing. As long as Caleb continues to improve like he has in the past two weeks, not only is the future bright because the Bears finally have their franchise quarterback, but you're also going to win a good amount of games. And that's what you're seeing right now. Now, the real test for the Chicago Bears, in my opinion, although I'm shooting the gun a little bit early, is the end of the season because it's you know all the divisional games kind of piled up in the, the second half of the season, right? The Packers don't come into town until week 11. But what we're seeing from Caleb right now in the first couple of months or the first couple of games, sorry, he looks really good. You know, in the training camp, OTAs, whatever, all the whole summer offseason program, the Bears in training camp were just the defense was throwing blitz after blitz after blitz in preparation for Caleb Williams. And he started off the season like most, actually every rookie quarterback, struggling against the Blitz, right? There's still quarterbacks in the NFL who aren't rookies who struggle with the Blitz. He's now beating it, all right? And I get it, it's the Rams, who, by the way, had a really good defensive game against the Packers this past weekend, but you know it's a banged-up Panthers team in general. But he's beating the Blitzes, and he's seeing it. You can see, you can tell, you can feel it. He's processing the game at a much better level on a week-to-week -week basis. So according to PFF, Williams was 17 for 19 for 200 passing yards and two touchdowns against the Blitz in the past two games against both the Rams and the Panthers. If that number sticks, and once again, like I just said, I know the Rams and the Panthers defense, it's not necessarily like, you know, Minnesota and Kansas City or what have you. I get it. But if he continues that upward trend, um, he's going to be good. He's going to be actually really good by the end of the season. And, you know, Shane Waldron's a guy who is getting a lot of flack all, all offseason in general. They're like more, more so actually like hesitation, but Shane Waldron was getting all of the... 
you know, kind of attacks for the Bears' lackluster offense in the first three weeks of the season. This past Sunday was by far Shane Waldron's best game as the play caller for the Chicago Bears. The offense in total had 424 yards. The running game was putting up numbers. They had 128 rushing yards on 39 carries for three touchdowns. I know that average only ends up being like 3.3 yards per carry, but keep in mind, like, you know, Tyson Badgen came in three carries minus four yards. Uh, Rashawn Johnson, more of a uh, red zone guy, goal line guy, two touchdowns, 25 yards, but only 10 carries. Once again, mainly red zone, third down type of conversions. DeAndre Swift, 21 carries, 73 yards, and a touchdown. The run game is not what it was in the first three games. I won't say it's perfect. It was a little bit worse than it was one week ago against the Rams, but the run game's improving, and that's going to open up the door for Caleb Williams, Shane Waldron, and this entire Chicago Bears offense. But we'll finish this video talking about the defense because you know, we said it the entire summer. This is one of the best defenses in the NFL. Like It just truly is. They're so young. They're so talented. Maybe they need a couple of pieces. I know a lot of people want them to get another solidified edge rusher. But like you kind of saw this past weekend, Austin Booker, in my opinion, that's more next year. You know, I think Austin Booker is going to have a good rookie season. I think he's had a really good, solid rookie season, especially for a fifth-round guy out of Kansas. But... You know, Austin Booker, long term to me, is going to be the opposite edge rusher of Montez Sweat. But anyways, just the point is, they had 10 quarterback hits, three sacks on Andy Dalton. Uh, he ended up exiting the game because it was a complete blowout. Bryce Young comes in here. Javon Dexter Sr. had a phenomenal game. Four quarterback hits, a sack, and a fumble recovery. This is one of these guys that we pinpointed in the summer saying, look, he had a solid rookie season. They're asking him to do even more in his sophomore campaign. And like you kind of saw it on his Twitter, anytime he hopped on a you know presser, he, he's got it. He's got the confidence, and we know he's got the talent, and he's really stepped up and risen to this opportunity. Andy Dalton, as a total, averaged 4.9 yards per attempt. He had a pass rating of 61. The Bears' defense took the ball away three times. They had two fumble recoveries and an interception. Kevin Byard. Like, here's the craziest part. One week, it'll be Jalen Johnson, Tyreek Stevenson, Kevin Byard. I mean, they're low. Jaquan Brisker, Kyler Gordon. Like, they're defensive backslash secondary room it's so talented it really is they got a really good probably the most underrated line or maybe like at least the uh, the most under talked about linebacker room in the national football league this is a really good defense like you've seen in the second half of last year in the first five games of the season and folks i'm just saying you can have any thoughts on this bears team in total caleb williams in general if caleb plays the way he has in the last two weeks and the Bears defense keeps doing what they've done in the first five games of the season. The Bears will be a relevant team come December slash January. All right. I'm just saying it. That's it for today. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL and Bears content. Give me your player of the game down below. Any thoughts you have from that Bears game. We'll see you soon. Three and two. The Bears are three and two, man. Peace.